we didn't really see any preset window sizes in the permission list. Autofill main field. All right, we've got a integer section up now. Hello everybody and in this video we'll be having a look at the Memento database so what I'll do is I'll cut this video and so as I said we'll be having a look at the Memento database and I do believe that is it is one of the best database apps out there for creating databases and And you know what, and what have you. So these sorts of apps. Would be good if you are like in a college. And if you want to study databases as part of your course. Then you can use apps like Memento to study and create databases because when I was doing my IT level 3 course I had to use Microsoft Access and I couldn't run it on the Chromebook and if I could run it on the Chromebook I'll probably have to have Office 360 which is well not too good in my opinion because you have to pay for it and you can't get any you know like features that are free or something and you could also use like the Microsoft online but actually that is quite slow in my opinion so I was looking for a database app at the time so I can do my databases but I couldn't find any database apps at the time so unfortunately I had to use a Windows computer which I didn't look forward to but again this is why we're looking for database clients for people who are in a in the same situation as me or as I was Okay then, so on to the Memento database. We didn't really see any preset window sizes in the permission list. So, if it's in the phone view, you might have to excuse that, although I did find the phone feature and I switched it to tablet. So hopefully it should be a more pleasant experience for you. I also hope that the picture quality is more pleasant as well. So we did have a little bit of a disappointing video previously when I was doing a review of a client for databases. So let's see how this video goes. My library, search, more options. So I have heard of this app being uh, fan fantastic as people have said and it's one of the best so I do hope that is the case we'll turn on the Google Talkback my libraries more options more options no libraries yet library by creating a library based on one of the templates provided. Create new libraries from templates. Create new libraries from templates. Oh, it's got next. Navigate to the 
navigator. Huh. Education. Inlet. Select. Select. Select templates. Oh, select templates. Selection. Selected. Personal. Personal. Select business. Healthy and travel. Educate. Navigate. Selected. Personal. Inlet. Select navigator. In a way, I would have liked to have a blank option, but let us go back. And let us click on Add Library. Online catalog. Wizard. Template. Personal. Selection. Business. Healthy and travel. Educate. Import. Import. Import from C. Memento. Navigator. Import from CSV. Import from CSV. Let's click on personal actually. Memento data. Personal. So you do have some interesting options, but I would have loved to see a blank template so I can create things immediately. Event, home inventory, column, money manager, column four, password, purchases, restaurant, task, time track, vehicle maintenance. That said, you do have a lot of options. Business, health, travel, healthy and sports, travel, educate, simple, import, <laughs> healthy and fitness, calorie count, healthy, fitness, my medication, pets health, running. Weight tracker, my medication. Uh, my medication. Fitness. Column two. Fitness. Calorie. Healthy. All right. Address and search bar. Three. All right. We've got a start from scratch option, and I don't know where that was hiding itself. Autofill. Main. Field. Main fields. Unlabeled. Library name. Unlabeled. Oh, library name. Library name. Edit box. And uh, Chromebooks. Unlabeled. Color of library. Color of library. Put on the tile. Library icon. Number of entries. Button. Add entry. Unique field. None. Mm -hmm. List of entries. Entry name. None. Entry description. None. Entry thumbnail. None. Entry cup. Entry background color. Start from scratch. List of right. entries. Unique. Put on the type. Unlabeled. Aut aggregate. Auto foot. Aggregate. Field. Selected. Main. All right, fields. Help. Aggregation. Selected. Field. Start from add. Need help. Add field. Add field. There are no fields. Add, add field. Subheader. Oh, subheader. Need help. Wow. Relation page. Relation field. Start from scratch. Save. Create more of. Make. Select. Hmm. Need help. There are no. Relation page. Start from field. Why has got that start from scratch? Oh, there we go. Text. Text. Yeah. Field name. Field name. Make. Field pin. Edit box. Um. Field. Example. Example. Asus. Advanced parameters. Exa oh. Wow. Example. Advanced parameters. Default values. Single line. Auto complete. Drop down. Pop. Nope. Oh wow. Field must be filled. Pop. Field must Pop. be filled. Display option. Goodness. Oh my goodness. This would be the sort of thing that teachers will look for when you're at college studying databases. Default advanced parameters. Default example. 
cases, six default values. Default values. Edit box. Cancel. Okay. Edit default. Edit. Uh, let's click. Let's type ten. Zero. Ten. Okay. Go on. Single line. Pop. Drop down list of possible values. Pop. Switch. Let's click on create. Save. Hmm? Wow. Select, aggregate auto selected main unlink main unlink as field and field. Create, Gonna click on that again. Main selected aggregation auto selected main unlabeled main un selected main one field default main unlabeled sub relation page field. The present search bar. Edit text with URL entry. You customize this window. Bookmark added. Folder. Edit bookmark for this tab. All right, we've got a integer section up now, and I thought I'll show you that and see what that's like. Wow. Um. Four. So he replaced four. Dollar sign. Oh, four GB. Capital capital four capital FM. Top round. Case. Capital chip. Capital default value. Calculator. Oh calculator. Six. Specify value. Radio Specify button. value. Edit box. Out of not ticked. Auto increment. Auto not increment. Ticked. Previous value. Previous value. Default value. Uh, let's type in three. Three. Not tick. Not tick. Cancel. Okay. Default default calculator. Default value. Add a button. Add a button to display the calculator. Add a button. Oh wow. Add a button. Switch. Let's click on on. Thousand user space. Unit required. Field pop required. Pop. Field must be filled. Pop. Field must be Display, filled. Displayers regular field. Displayers regular. Field. Field. The field name. Display the wow. Name. Save. Create, save. So I think I'm going to click on Option. save, save. and actually Add. we're going to save, save, changes. save no. changes. Save changes. Yeah. Yes. So I think yes. we're going to conclude the video. Yeah, All right, so in conclusion, this Memento database is actually very impressive. And, you know, that's actually a understatement. And I can now see why it's named one of the best database apps that are out there. And for a number of reasons. First of all, it has a lot of, you know, stuff that I think a lot of teachers would need and like to see and also expect out of their students. And again, there is database modular light, which is actually very technical, but I think this Memento database is actually very good for beginners as well. Maybe colleges would like to see you know, like more technical, such as the database model light. And even though it is very technical, it will probably be good for colleges. But again, this Memento database is good for colleges and beginners, in my opinion. It is very easy to use. And we did have a near scare with this database when we couldn't find a, you know, a template that we could create from scratch and on our own and start to personalize. Uh, but thank thankfully we saw the option to create from scratch. So that was, that was really good. And yeah, so that's all I have to say. I would recommend this Memento database to anyone. I think also including screen reader users. And I think I'll be recommending it to people who are in a colleague situation 
and are wanting or are looking to study databases as part of their course, their IT course, which is, I think, one of the mandatory units, probably in some colleges. I know it was on one of mine. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And actually, before I go, one more thing I must add. If this Memento database doesn't work out for your college, there is also database model of light. So uh, sorry to interject that <laughs> before I was going. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And I will see you soon.